I'd love that. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's the battle for first American or first person in the race. You guys could win yeah. the race. Well, thanks. Anything is possible. Right. Especially after last year, right? Seriously. No, it's true. Like, anything is possible in this, in this, in this race, especially. So, we're not just going just for like first American. I mean, that is like, if that's the case, then the buy is too low. Right. You know, would you say that? I would say that. So that's my feeling in New York was that we were running together, helping each other to get the Americans as high as we could exactly. in the field. Yes. And I, and I, uh, I've loved that. Yeah. I love that. I love that aspect. I mean, we're always racing, but uh, but we're definitely out there to make a dent in the international competition. Of course. I mean, seriously, like I don't see, I don't, I don't, I don't like that mentality whereby you just. Oh, I'm gonna try to be a top American. I mean, it's like, come on, you know? It's just defeating. It's like. No, I feel like it's a cop out. You no. Know? I feel like it's good because like you guys inspire each other, but I also feel like sometimes it, it's the first American. Like right now, outside of Galen, people haven't run that fast. So I feel like people can. If the first American was running 208, people start thinking, "Oh, I gotta go 208." You know, in some ways, it can. I mean, you did great at the Olympics. No, I agree with you. It's I agree with you. I think. I think uh, it's. You know, you can you can win a race and pat yourself on the back for winning, but if you raced a bunch of people that weren't running very fast, then it doesn't mean anything. And, and similarly, you know, we can be excited about being top American, but what's more exciting is if the Americans are a, are a factor. Yeah, and I and I think we can be. I think we got a lot of I think we got a lot of uh, depth to the American field this year. And, I mean, the international field's deep, certainly. But I'm excited to get out there and play. Yeah, Shadrach. I do you ever think about, like, if you didn't have American citizenship, like your brother, would you, would your mindset be, I have to go run 205? Have you ever thought about that? I've thought about it, but, you know, it's a, uh, you take what life throws at you, right. you try to make it happen, whatever that is. And so for me, yeah, it would have been cool to run 205, whatever it is, but, you know, I'm happy where I'm at right now. And to represent the United States is a dream come true. So and, and Shadrach's finishing, re finishing really well in these major marathons. No, like I mean, he's fourth a couple years ago, and third last year. And like, like, I mean, so if if, they, if he's third or fourth or fifth on a year where there's a tailwind in Boston, Shadrach's going to be running 207 or 208. And so I know I'm capable of running sub 210. I mean, that's no doubt about it. Yeah. It's just like I haven't got you know. I go to Boston, I go to New York. I go to New York. So, but one of these days, I you know try to go for yeah. time and try to see how fast I can run. Um, I was but, talking to Jeffrey Eggleston. He's like, he ran two ten fifty or something like four years ago. Yeah. It's like, what's the difference? He goes, I just haven't been in the right race. Yeah. You know, and you guys are way more accomplished than he is. But he's like, no, the, uh, hot weather, last year's rain, you know, all these things affect stuff. How's the training gone for you guys? It sounds like it's going very well. I'm not gonna lie. You know, it's funny for me. My training for every race is usually almost the same. I never change too much, really. Same mileage wise, you know, same type of training. So, um, do you train much with Dathan, or is it mostly by yourself? I do when I go to Florida, but when I'm back in California, I just train alone. So how much time do you go back and forth? So this time around we were in Florida for four weeks together and then I went on for 10 days and then we were down in Florida the last 10 days. So about five weeks training together with Dayton. You're, you're pretty much by yourself or do you some of the BYU team? So yeah, I have, I have those guys for speed work and it's been awesome. And I, you know, I, I'm okay doing the strength stuff on my own. That, that rhythm stuff comes very natural and so long runs and things. Um, but I feel really good about the training. I was uh, uh, fortunate to come off of a good New York race after a, a modified buildup, and, um, and training has gone really, really well over the last few months. Injury free, and so I'm excited for this one. I feel like these these opportunities uh, don't come around all the time. Certainly for me, and I just turned 30 this last year, and I'm beginning to realize 30. that. Uh -oh. you get a little bit older than you're young, you're young. <laughs> Happy still going ahead. You got 12 yes. more years. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. It's gonna be it's gonna be a fun Monday. How old are you now? I'm 34. Wow. Yeah. You're the old guy. That doesn't mean anything. No, no. Shelly looks you. younger than I do. So it's like, seriously, like I see people say, oh, well, age is 
you take care of yourself. Yeah. And you can Nowadays, see I think athletes are, are showing if you take care of yourself and you're motivated. And you're motivated. It's all about. It used to be people motivated. had no. They couldn't make a living doing it, and yeah. I think you nutrition know, itself wasn't as good. How many people are out just because? I mean, let's be honest. It's not an easy, an easy job to do. Right. Every day you have to get up and just, you know, remind yourself, why am I doing this? So, it's uh, if you have the fire in you and you stay healthy and you take care of yourself, eat well, and have the right people, you know, to support you, you can you can run for a long time. And this year they're starting the. You guys start two minutes before everybody else. Is that right? Yeah. You guys, I don't know, like. My thinking is, it's kind of let's run thinking, is like one of the greatest things about running is you get those gun goes off and everybody's in the same yeah. thing. I mean, they can't stay with you very long, but. I see why, you know, why that is. Because, I mean, you can, you can, I mean, no good mood. Because if you have all those many people starting at the same time, this risk of somebody getting tripped or, and you, it's a, it's a downhill. Right, so right. everybody's just flying. And so those are. Those are the things that I think they look at it and they're like, ah, two minutes, they can still. Yeah. I guess maybe there's some validity to that, but I do like the idea that anybody can go up there and run. I think that's kind of a yeah. that's I mean, kind fun. of a cool thing. And it's I mean it's always fun for TV to see the you guy see that him? runs up in front yeah. and he, he leads the first yeah. third of a mile, right? Yeah. I mean I guess I don't know, just as a kid you go to some race and you'd be like, look at that guy up front, I get to run with him and then yeah. two hundred meters later he was gone, but Make it, yeah, that's, I think they were trying to do it because last year with the weather some women got top 15 and the women start separate you know so they go like, oh, it's not fair but maybe that's why maybe that's why maybe but, next year they'll change it uh, we'll just roll with it anything else we need to know before Monday no is there anything else we need to know from you no uh, <laughs> not really ask John he knows everything <laughs> need to know. what do you want to know what do you want to know what is the weather says you know for weather Okay, yeah, this is what everyone needs to know. I'll hang up here in a second. There's an app called Dark Sky. Dark Sky? Yeah. Dark as a D. Yeah, you gotta pay like a dollar for it or four dollars or something. Is it good? It's the best. No it'll, kidding. Yeah, especially like for local, like within 10 minutes, it'll say it'll rain within 10 minutes to your location. Because I walk dogs all the time, my own dogs, it's tremendous. But it's the best, I, best I've seen for like, and it gives you like hour by hour, it'll rain 60%. It's very accurate. And it's easy too. Okay. Is that like Wonder it's Ground then? What? You know Wonder Ground? Wonder well, Ground, yeah. My brother likes this. The Dark Sky. Wonder like... Ground or something. There's a, there's a, there's, it's kind of the same, kind of tells you like... Hey, this thing says wind out of the southwest at 18 miles an hour. Hold on. I'll check. I'll okay, check Dark Sky. Yeah, I'm pausing. Like... I'll be